the last chart here is just a performance uh, chart, year-to-date returns, and just wanted to show you where Bitcoin is. It's been the best performing asset this year. Uh, and I'll close right now by um, featuring uh, two uh, pieces we've put out recently. Uh, both of them, interestingly, are uh, on Bitcoin as, as we get ready for, uh, hopefully, uh, the SEC's approval of uh, a Bitcoin, a spot Bitcoin ETF. Um, we think it is going to happen. There are all kinds of signals that it's going to happen. In the cryptocurrency sector, Kathy Wood's unyielding optimism towards Bitcoin distinguishes her among financial experts and investors. As the founder and CEO of ARK Invest, she not only stands apart due to her unique role but also for her commitment to substantiating statements with thorough research from the ARK Invest team. Wood's focus extends to five innovation platforms, robotics, energy storage, artificial intelligence, blockchain technology, and multiomic sequencing, which she considers the most disruptive innovations ever. Collaborating with 21 Shares, a leading financial technology company, ARK Invest is actively preparing to launch multiple crypto-based exchange-traded fund products. Notably, their spot Bitcoin and Ether ETFs are pending approval from the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, with Wood expressing confidence in a positive shift in the SEC's attitude toward crypto asset-based spot ETFs, especially for Bitcoin. She anticipates not just one but several spot Bitcoin ETF approvals simultaneously to ensure fairness among applicant firms. In a recent in the No video broadcast, Wood delved into fiscal policies, market signals, economic indicators, and the latest news and innovation all closely tied to Bitcoin and spot Bitcoin ETFs. Emphasizing Bitcoin's consistent performance, Wood notes its status as the best performing asset, both for the year and the past decade, excluding the disruptions of 2022. Anticipating Bitcoin's continued dominance, she shares insights on how other asset classes are aligning with its performance, providing projections for the coming year. Clips from the video offer further details on these analyses and forecasts. Daily Dose Crypto Challenge Win $1,000 of Bitcoin, simply, subscribe to our channel, like this video, comment below how much you think Bitcoin price will be on January 1st, 2024, winner will be announced January 1st, 2024, 6pm GMT time, good luck. The last chart here is just a performance uh, chart, year-to-date returns, and just wanted to show you where Bitcoin is, it's been the best performing asset this year. Um, and you can see where other categories of equities and fixed income have been. Uh, it's been a pretty good year overall. Um, Bitcoin having an, an, especially, an especially good year. And I think it's because uh, in March we learned that Bitcoin is not just a risk on asset. It is a risk off asset. And uh, why, why is it a risk-off asset? It's a risk-off asset because there's no counterparty risk. Uh, when everyone was worried about their deposits in the banking system in March, they were worried because of counterparty risk. They just, uh, banks are opaque, opaque, whereas the Bitcoin blockchain is transparent and it's decentralized where banks tend to be centralized. So a huge proof of concept. Uh, so this realization, wait a minute, Bitcoin is a risk on asset and a risk off asset? That's crazy. We don't have too many of those. Uh, so pretty interesting. In terms of the sectors that have done well this year, uh, I was surprised, as you know, we are index agnostic and we think that sectors are converging because technology is blurring the lines between and among them. But if you use the GICS classification, you'll see real estate uh, uh, in the last, this is in the last month, real estate, industrials, and financials have been the, the best three categories. The reason I was surprised by that is it was a very good period for innovation-based strategies like ours, uh, which uh, are index agnostic. Uh, that typically isn't the case when real estate, industrials, and financials are the best performing categories. Um, worst were energy, it was the only negative uh, sector, consumer staples, and healthcare. 
So those last two are more defensive categories. Uh, that does make sense in the context of how uh, innovation-based strategies like ours uh, performed. So uh, it's, been, it's been a great, great uh, uh, rebound from the lows in October, just a, a massive rebound, and has transformed the year for uh, a lot of asset managers, either for the better or for the worse. Um, and if we're right, and inflation is going to uh, surprise on the low side of expectations and growth disappoints, um, we'll be in a period where innovation does its best. Innovation solves problems. If you need uh, to protect your margins as your pricing power disappears, uh, then you need productivity enhancing technology. And with the uh, breakthroughs in artificial intelligence and you know, we marvel all the time uh, uh, about the breakthroughs in AI as AI training costs drop 70% per year. Um, you know, there's a, a boom out there. And that is what happens when prices drop. And prices associated with disruptive new technologies always fall. So it's a perfect environment uh, for our companies to thrive. Uh, and I'll close right now by um, featuring uh, two uh, pieces we've put out recently. Uh, both of them, interestingly, are uh, on Bitcoin as, as we get ready for, uh, hopefully, uh, the SEC's approval of uh, a Bitcoin, a spot Bitcoin ETF. Um, we think it is going to happen. There are all kinds of signals that is going to happen. As Kathy would emphasize, AR Invest is intensifying its research efforts on Bitcoin, anticipating the approval of a spot Bitcoin ETF by the SEC. The consensus within the industry is that such an ETF would significantly benefit Bitcoin and the broader digital assets space. In a recent interview with Yahoo Finance, Kathy highlighted the increasing likelihood of the SEC approving not just one but multiple ETF applications. She pointed out a notable uptick in approval prospects, especially in recent weeks as the SEC actively engaged with firms, providing guidance on minor adjustments needed for this pivotal approval. Kathy also mentioned that the SEC has enlisted experts well-versed in Bitcoin's revolutionary impact on the financial system. During her latest in the No broadcast, Wood shared her insights on the overall U.S. economy heading into 2024. According to the ARK Invest CEO, the battle against inflation is deemed over, and the Federal Reserve is poised to confront a distinct yet equally substantial challenge. The broadcast features additional clips, providing further context and details from Kathy Wood's perspectives. A chart showing what expectations have been for fourth quarter GDP growth ever since uh, October. And you can see uh, in the GDP now um, purple line there, that growth expectations have been coming down. Bloomberg expectations were very low and seem to have come up, but they're both converging uh, in, into sort of the one, one to one and a quarter range, which is, which is very low, um, of course, and not too far from negative, uh, which is where uh, we would not be surprised to see real GDP growth go some point next year. Um, now, we got uh, consumer sentiment uh, measures today. You can see just looking, going back into the early 80s, you can see that consumer sentiment is quite depressed uh, by historical standards. Uh, we did get a, a little bit of a pop uh, today. Um, we've been hovering in that 60 to 70 range, got closer to 70 with today's reading uh, for this reason. Uh, expected inflation rates. So you can see that if you look at the five-year, uh, the longer-term uh, inflation expectations as, as shown by the green line, they never really veered from where they've been since 2000, uh, which was a disinflationary time. It was those short term, uh, the next year expectations that popped above 5%, which is not terribly unusual. The same thing happened um, in as the Fed was stimulating um, uh, 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 in 
in 2008. Uh, and then, of course, they came right back down. They're coming down again now. We had an unusually large decline. It, was, it had popped to something over 4%, and now we're back down to the low 3%. And you can see, again, that's not too far where we have been, from where we have been. And yet the fight, the Fed has been fighting this inflation dragon. You'd think that ex expectations were uh, where they were in 1980 and, and had been building for 15 years. Uh, we got to 10% inflation expectations then. We got nowhere near that. And yet the Fed, with a 24-fold increase in interest rates uh, from 0.25 to 5.5% in little more than a year's time, has been slaying a dragon. Uh, we don't think that dragon existed and we do think we'll see the ramifications of this uh, policy during the next year or so in the form of much weaker than expected inflation and, uh, and economic statistics. Uh, we wouldn't be surprised to see the broad-based inflation gauges go negative. Uh, and then, of course, the Fed will be fighting a completely different battle. Uh, here is uh, temporary employ uh, help employment. You can see it's a leading indicator. Uh, the, the green line is total employment. Uh, temp temporary help is the um, purple line. And uh, by this time in past cycles, uh, the, the total employment was about to, to turn down when uh, temporary help had reached this kind of a decline. And we do think that will happen next year. That's part of why we think consumption will pull back. The SEC initially postponed its decision on ARK Invest's spot Bitcoin exchange-traded fund application on August 11th. Approximately eight weeks later, on September 26th, the regulatory body announced an extension of the review period for a proposed rule change allowing the operation of ARK 21 shares spot Bitcoin ETF. Granting itself an additional 60 days, the SEC set the final deadline for January 10, 2024, precisely 240 days after the initial application submission by ARK and 21 shares. On this date, the SEC must render its decision on ARK's spot Bitcoin ETF application, with no further extensions anticipated. Recent reports from reputable sources, including Bloomberg analysts, suggest that the SEC is now gearing up to approve multiple spot Bitcoin ETF applications on or before January 10th. Renowned hedge fund manager Mark Yusko speculates that BlackRock's approval may be announced on January 8, 2024, though uncertainty surrounds ARK Invest's approval and that of other entities. Share your thoughts on Kathy Wood's interview and her Bitcoin predictions by leaving your comments and observations in the comments section below. For more Daily Dose crypto news, check out these two awesome videos on your screen. Click now and we will see you on the next video.